Hello, second grade, and welcome back to week number two in January. And last time I saw you, we learned how to make the pages for our book. Now, some of you added more pages than others, so it just depends on how many pages you have is going to help you figure out how many pictures you need for your book. So what I want you to do today is after you count up the number of pages that you have, you're going to take some paper, and I have some scrap paper here, and I'm going to move you down to show you how I want you to start mapping out your progression drawings. Now, I told you in the introduction, the book is going to have a beginning picture in it, and by the time you get to the end, the picture will have changed, and in between, it shows you the progress of picture number one. So, just to do some brainstorming, I might start with picture number one being a little egg. And maybe the egg has some polka dots on it. And maybe the egg is in a nest. There. Can you see that? Little egg. And then in picture number two, maybe the egg ends up turning a little bit. And I can show motion by showing the polka dots on the egg have moved and tilted. And maybe there's a little crack in it. See what I did? And then in picture number three, I'm writing backwards. I hope that three is correct on your end. Maybe the egg, hmm, let's see, opened up a little bit. There's that nest, and maybe the polka dots are there. You see what happened? And then in picture number four, the egg is more open. And maybe there's a chip here on the floor. And you start to see who's inside. See, he was peeking out. Put some texture on him to look like he's has some fur, or not fur, feathers, right? Oops, picture. Oh, <laughs> my number five is completely backwards. Let me redo that. There we go. And then in picture number five, maybe he starts climbing out of the egg. But I think you get the point. So on my paper, what I'm doing is I'm planning out my progression. So maybe by the ending, he's a full-grown chicken, and maybe he's clucking around with the other chickens in the little hen house, or he's a rooster. Okay, so what I want you to do for this week is use some scrap paper and plan out your storyline, okay? Keep it simple because you have a lot of little pictures to draw. So I don't want you to get frustrated and give up. Now you can also do a couple of these. Maybe it's a seed that grows into a beautiful plant. Or maybe it shows a rainstorm and by the end there's a beautiful rainbow. Okay? There's a lot of different things and thousands of ideas that you can do. And I want you to be thinking... I want you to be sketching, and then next week for week number three, we're going to start to put the pictures into the book. So don't put them in yet, and we're also going to work on the cover, okay? So get your rough copies done, and I will be ready for part three. Okay, boys and girls, have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.